let's just say I went out. Would you know that this was a wig? I mean, if you knew me, obviously, but I mean, outside of that, like if you just randomly saw me passing, you'd be like, girl, what you used to do your perm where I said? And I'd be like, well, you know. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lee, and I have a special guest with me here today, and her name is Viola. Y'all wanna meet Viola? This is Viola, sis. This is Viola. Ain't Viola cute though? My cousin and I actually named her Viola because the texture of her hair is just so real. So we're actually going to apply this wig today. Hence the reason that I have these jailhouse braids in my head. And I did a perm rod set on Viola to basically show you guys that even like textured, kinky, kinky textured hair, it can just be great. I have never seen a wig that looks this close to real hair. So shout out to my girl Viola. I wanted to show you guys the box that my wig came in. It also came with literally the entire history of her given hair along with samples of each texture that the company offers. Now fresh out of the bag, you'll notice how dense and thick the hair is. It is a very kinky, coily texture, but it's pretty soft. And this is a full lace wig, so all the way around, you can see this beautiful lace. After washing and coloring the hair, the only product that I applied was some setting lotion, and I proceeded to do a flexi rod set all over the head. I used different sizes, and I did quite large sections, so I ended up only using maybe about 20 flexi rods. I let it dry for about a week, which was completely unnecessary. And then I took all of the flexi rods out and sprayed it with a bit of oil to prevent excessive frizz. Now I'm going to go through and take it down like I would normally take down my hair, separating each part of the curl and then wrapping it around my fingers. Afterwards, I'm simply going to give it a fluff so that you can see the curl definition. The extra lace has been cut off of Viola and if you're wondering about the color, I did kind of go in and dye the tips of this hair just to kind of see how it would color. I think it came out really cute so you know just don't be surprised if Viola is blonde next time you see her. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is just try Viola on. Viola is not the name of this wig okay so if you go look for a wig named Viola it's probably not going to be this one but you know we named her. So I'm just gonna put on a wig cap. I'm going to try Viola on to basically see how she fits or see whether I need to make any other additional adjustments to her. Okay okay sis it's a little loose around the hairline it seems like it fits pretty well in the back so what i'm going to do is adjust it in the back with these hooks so i've tightened the straps in the back hopefully this helps so let's try her on again all right that's a little better if you notice it doesn't lift as much in the front so we good to go let's get to gluing i'm gonna clip her out of the way in the front i'm by no means an expert guys you guys know that but i be trying and i really like my little wigs or whatever so what i'm doing is i am applying some got to be glue so got to be is on now with the blow dryer on a cool setting we're gonna you know what what is that what what is that <laughs> i'm gonna apply some of the cool air around the edges You want the glue to be tacky. You can apply another layer of glue and like go through this process, but I'm not going to because I probably won't keep the wig glued, I guess you could say down. Then just go in and press the lace up against your hairline, essentially. And what I would do is do this in sections, like hold it down and then blow dry. But so far it looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna do any baby hairs or anything like just because natural hair it I mean you know it kind of looks like this if your hair is really really kinky it's really really hard to get your edges to lay down so to me adding baby hairs and extra edges is just going to take away from it looking like your hair so the first way we could wear it is just to take it and basically kind of separate it so that it creates this heart shape and I mean we could part it I'll give it a little bit of a part y'all see that and yeah look 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 at that scalp look and then at this point you're really just playing with it 
and kind of fluffing it out and I did not bleach the knots on this wig I'm sure that if I actually would have done that it would look 10 times better this is a really dope and easy 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 way to style Viola now what you could also do with her is create like a bang you might just have to kind of adjust some of the pieces in the front to either make them longer or shorter and just fill in the side pull some of the hair from the middle down to the front and i'm feeling how these curls are not being disturbed uh, i don't know about you guys but i'm really really in love i think that this wig looks so freaking natural i think that you can get away with it i feel like it's beautiful and it is the closest wig to actual naturally textured hair that i have ever gotten my hands on when i got this wig it was kinky it was a fro when i washed it it was still pliable it was still loose let me tell you her giving hair they put their foot in this wig they really really did her giving hair did an amazing job with this entire unit if you want to check this out all of that information will be in the description bar so please refer to it and just give me a thumbs up because the wig is cute i would really really appreciate it if you agree that this wig is equally as cute as i think it is then go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me know your thoughts down below did i nail it or not how do you feel about this wig because i freaking love it so i love you guys make sure that you subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye